Hi guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Sam Evans and this is The Electric Singularity. It's great to have you. Now, as you know, I report on everything in the electric car field, electric batteries, all that good stuff. But there's one thing I've been wondering about lately, and I think a lot of people have. How on earth has Tesla managed to pivot around the global semiconductor chip shortage? Now, I had no idea how they did that. And in fact, I was totally baffled by it. And I think a lot of industry analysts, a lot of Wall Street was confused by it as well. How on earth did Tesla dramatically increase their deliveries during that chip shortage period? Now, Fred Lambert from Electric has recently reported on how they managed to do just that. Fred says that Tesla explained how it pivoted to avoid the global micro microchip shortage that Intel now says could last for several more years. The pandemic had resulted in an increase for, in demand for many electronics and computers that the supply chain couldn't handle, especially the semiconductor industry. This microchip shortage in turn affected the automotive industry, which has increasingly become a big consumer of microchips. We previously released a deep dive report on how it is affecting electric vehicle production as several automakers had to help production until chip supply could catch up. Pat Gelsinger, CEO of Intel, one of the biggest semiconductor companies, recently said that it could take a couple of years for the industry to catch up to the surging demand. Tesla was also affected by the chip shortage. During Tesla's Q1 2021 earnings call last week, Elon Musk said that Tesla had some very important supply chain issues, mentioning the chip shortage and even compared Tesla's logistics difficulties to World War II level logistics challenges. Obviously, he is exaggerating. This quarter, and I think we'll continue to see that a little bit in Q2 and Q3, we had some of the most difficult supply chain challenges that we've ever experienced in the life of Tesla, and the same difficulties with supply chain with parts, over the whole range of parts. Obviously, people have heard about the chip shortage. Tesla uses several chips inside its vehicles, to different control systems and its infotainment system. Most famously, the automaker uses a chip that it designed itself for its self-driving software. That chip is produced by Samsung, but obviously it was designed in-house by Tesla. Interestingly, Tesla disclosed that it managed to avoid being too affected by the chip shortage through pivoting to microcontrollers and developing new firmware to work with new chips from different suppliers. The company wrote in its shareholder letter, in Q1, we were able to navigate through the global chip supply shortage issues in part by pivoting extremely quickly to new microcontrollers, while simultaneously developing firmware for new chips made by new suppliers. The automaker did note that the supply chain issues could still affect them through the next few quarters, but Tesla only had to close its Fremont factory for a few days last quarter, which is not as bad as the production halts that some other manufacturers are reporting. Guys, remember, Tesla is not fully vertically integrated, but not too far off it. What that means is when Tesla build a car, they pretty much use only their own systems, their own in-house design systems to build that car. As many of you know, every other automaker in the world except for maybe potentially some of the Chinese automakers, use the electric systems from a very wide range of companies, including Bosch and other manufacturers. So those companies, those other automakers, are reliant on external businesses, and in fact, a wide range of external businesses. In many cases, cars from mainstream manufacturers will actually use up to 30 different computer chips from a range of different suppliers and then try to integrate all those systems together, which as you can imagine means they're heavily dependent upon a very wide range of different businesses, whereas Tesla obviously have less dependence on that network. Now, I'm not sure that logistics issues were as grave as World War II. Obviously, Elon was just exaggerating there and kind of sharing his frustration with us. But Tesla the fact that they were actually able to pivot and think logically here and work out a way to get around this chip shortage is pretty damn impressive. And I'm not exactly sure 
what these details involve, how exactly they pivoted to microchip controllers or, you know, that's beyond my head. But I've got to say massive kudos to Tesla for once again outsmarting the mainstream automakers. I believe Tesla will continue to pivot like this on a range of different issues, whether that be working on full autonomy, whether that be working on improving battery cell technology. They're not going to just stop at making 4680 battery cells. They're going to make the new, whatever the new number is. And I'm sure they're already working on those new models right now while they scale up development for the 4680. Obviously, they're thinking 10 years ahead, and that's what I like about the company. Now, I'm an investor of Tesla, so there's my kind of letting you know that I'm a huge fan of the company. However, I do admit Tesla has areas that they need to improve on, and I believe the company knows this. Guys, thank you for watching this. The video, please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.